Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Paper Tag. So I'm continuing the theme of asking my friends for what topics and like videos they want done on this channel. And this week, the suggestion was how to feel more secure in your early 20s. And as someone that's in my early 20s, I feel like this is, you know, this is my wheelhouse. I feel like I am an expert on this. You know, I can tell you everything. I can tell you how to feel great and secure. And, you know, you don't need to worry about anything. Kind of. I can tell you up until a point because I have only experienced so much. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to tell you what I have learned in the now, I guess it's January. I graduated in August. I don't know how many months that is. August is the eighth month. So five months, roughly. Yeah, five months. So in the five months since I've graduated, what have I learned? What do I think is the best way to feel more secure in your early 20s? You know, when some people still think of you as a, as a kid and don't think you're ready for certain things, you know, can't rent a car, you know, adopting a dog or a pet is, you know, more difficult. You know, your parents still don't think you're capable of doing things fully. Whereas, you know, you have to be an adult, you have to get a job, you know, everyone's expecting you to have a career path and have everything figured out, but you don't. And it's just, it's all over the place. So what do you do? Well, I've had this discussion with a lot of people, and most of our discussions have led to Maslow's hierarchy of needs, which I will put up here. And this is a very, like, simple psychological theory where basically this guy was like, hey, every human has a hierarchy of needs to have a fulfilled life. So, like, the bottom is, like, food, housing, you know, the basic needs of survival. And then next is like income, you know, um, relationships, friends. And then above that is like a purpose. And then above that is like spirituality. Um, I did not remember the pyramid before this. I'm going to be totally honest. And I didn't write it down in my notes because I thought I could improvise and just know it all. But I think that follows like a similar line. I don't know. You guys will see it on here. So it'll make more sense for you guys. So all of our discussions have kind of gone back to that. And I've always been like, yeah, once I had my apartment, that felt like a little layer of myself had been taken care of. And then once I started working a part-time job to pay for my apartment, I felt like a little bit of a layer had been taken care of. And then when I got my full-time job, my first like real, real job out of college, I'm now in the point again where I feel like how I did as a senior in college. Now, as a senior in college, I was very, very like on my shit personal growth wise. So I was like meditating, I was eating healthy, I was working out, I was very, very like disciplined. And I lost that in the summer because I was graduating, I didn't have a job, I didn't have a house, I, you know, everything was uncertain. You know, I didn't know if my friends were moving, I didn't know if my girlfriend was moving, I didn't know where I was gonna live, and it's just it was a mess. And so I couldn't really work on personal growth at all because I had things that were more pressing and more important that needed to be figured out. And so I think, you know, the first thing I would recommend for everybody is find your house, your apartment, whatever your, your living situation, whether you're going back home, just figure that out if you can before you graduate college or just as soon as possible. After that, Find a part-time job that doesn't suck. I was a barista at a coffee shop and it was great and it was awesome. I worked, you know, as many hours as I could there. I think at the most it was like 26, well no, cause it was four, six hour shifts, 24, 24 hours. Tips were good, pay wasn't terrible and it was fun. I love talking to people. I love hearing people's stories and overall it was just a really good job. So I think that is really important to hit those two early on. And then you can lead yourself into finding an actual job that pays more and slowly building up, you know, financial security. Now that takes time. That took me from August to, well, no, because I didn't even have an apartment. The summer I was in, summer, the summer I was in like limbo, I was working at another job at the MMA gym and whatever. So, I mean, school ended before I graduated in August and May, and then I did summer classes and studied abroad and worked and had to find an apartment. So it took me, 
I will say this, it probably took me from June to December. So that's six months, I think. Yeah, six months to actually find like all of those or to get all of those, you know, filled. And so now I'm in this phase where I am looking to further myself in terms of like being more social, creating like a third place for myself, learning more things, you know, teaching other things to people, you know, trying to figure out what I want more from my life because now I have the security that I had in college. Now, some other things I would recommend that we kind of talked about in the living or lo living, loving yourself video are set goals. But in this case, especially small ones, because when you're like, you know, so anxious and like stressed and like trying to find a place to live and trying to figure out where your next phase is going to be or what you're going to do or what your job or where money and food are coming from, like any small accomplishment is great. You know, try to keep your good habits as much as possible. That was a really big problem for me. I lost a ton of good habits over the summer. So try to keep your good habits as much as possible. You know, I think habits might even be more important than goals. If you can keep your good habits, then I think you'll have a much easier time. And just take a learner's mindset to everything. I know a lot of the times people are going to be assuming, you know, you're a kid, you don't know much. And you're going to be like, hey, I went to school for four years. I'm 21, 22. I've done this. I have all this experience but you still have a lot to learn. And I feel like if you go into things with more of a learner's mindset and a growth mindset and less of a closed mindset about like life in general and you know your capacity to learn new things, I think that transition from teenage, college, early 20s to more adulthood and sustained security will be a lot easier. Um, meditate. I know I say that for everything, but I'm telling you, it helps with everything. It just makes everything so much easier. Uh, be confident. Try new things. Break fears when you can and what you can afford to do. Obviously, if you're starting with a part-time job or something, you know, you may not have a chance to go travel alone in Thailand or something like that, but break little fears. Build some confidence. Go out to bars with people. Be social. If you're in a new city and need to meet new people, you know, join like a soccer league or something, or go play pick up basketball somewhere. Like, keep it very, very simple. And the last thing is just try to be as self sufficient as possible. I found myself in this phase really trying to rely on too many people and not relying enough on myself because I was like, well, I'm 21. I can't rely on myself. I need to rely on my parents. I need to rely on teachers. And that's good to an extent. Like I would go to teachers, I would ask for advice on career stuff, you know, grad school, cause I was kind of thinking about it. Um, I'd rely on my parents, you know, financially a little bit for help and rely on them to be like, hey, what should I do? When in reality, the only person that can decide what to do is you. And you're kind of in charge for your life for the first time. And it's a little overwhelming, but when you build more confidence and take more responsibility and you know, start being making money and being like hey you know this is my apartment that I'm paying for this is you know my job that I'm working for that I found this is you know something that I did like a paper tiger this is my brand that I'm building my like passion everything gets kind of easier and you get more confident and you feel more self-sufficient Again, I think meditation really helps with this because you can do like confidence meditations and they'll, you know, you'll be sitting there, you'll be calm, your thoughts won't be racing and they'll be like, hey, remember how resilient you are. Remember what you've been through. And this is less of like a egotistical confidence that you might have when people are treating you like a kid where you're like, hey, I'm not a kid. And this is more what I'm talking about with the meditations is more like, a, okay, I know I've done this. This is good. I'm in a good spot. I'm prepared, but I can also learn more. Not like a, I'm not a kid. I already know everything. I don't need anybody's help. So that is kind of all I would recommend. Um, at least for now, this is all I've experienced. I'm still 21. I got a long way to go, but I mean, if I were to summarize everything, you know, fill the hierarchy you needs because you can't really progress as a person or progress with personal growth or artistic growth or anything like that until you have hit those needs. So I would do that first. Keep your good habits. Smet. Smet. 
set, set really small goals. Um, you know, work on your confidence, remember what you've been through, but keep that learner and that beginner line, mindset and be as social as possible because, you know, it can get lonely. And especially if you're in a new place and you just graduate college where you're constantly socially stimulated, you know, try to say yes to everything because it will kind of make that transition a little easier. Um, and then use your meditation time as like your alone time. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it. It's what I would recommend. So hope this helps. Hope anyone that watches this feels a little secure in that weird postgraduate depression era. Um, it kind of sucks. So yeah, hope this helps. All right. Adios, guys.